Thank you, Bizzle, for sponsoring today's video. Hello and welcome. My name is Shelby Marybeth and thank you so much for choosing to watch today's video. I am a mom to two kids aged four and two and I love sharing cleaning motivation, organizing, and decorating in my videos. So I actually upload a new video every single Sunday so if you're new I hope you consider subscribing. I would love to see you here each week and before we get into all the seriously like deep cleaning that we are going to do today. I hope you motivate me by hitting that thumbs up on this video. It really helps my channel and make sure to leave a comment so I know you're watching. So I grabbed all of our throw blankets around our living room first and I'm going to throw them through the wash. There is nothing more satisfying than freshly laundered throw blankets cuddling up with them on the couch. So while I deep clean the rest of our living room, I'm getting them started here. I always like to do a quick tidy first before doing the deep cleaning. I'll be deep cleaning all throughout our house. So I'm starting here in the living room, but I'll also be in the kitchen, in our dining room, our back porch, which really needs some tender loving care. So if you have some deep cleaning that you need to do around your house too, I really hope this video gets you up and motivated to clean along with me. I know a lot of you like to just put these videos on your TV and then you literally just have like a friend cleaning along with you. So I like going top to bottom. So I'm starting with our fan, which is extremely dusty right now. So instead of just <laughs> dusting off all these huge, like globs of dust on our fan. I'm taking a pillowcase, putting it over it, and catching as much as I can. It's hard to see, but there's a ton of dust inside this pillowcase, and all I did was take it outside, turned it inside out, and shook it off, and now I can throw it through the wash, and all that dust is not all over our floor. All the other harder to reach areas, I just used my Swiffer, and got the rest, but they weren't the huge clumps that were on the fan blades. This part gets so neglected because it usually have to use the ladder to really get up to it. So I'm bringing that ladder back to our garage. And before I move on to our couch and our carpet and everything, I decided to give our dog Django a bath and it's not his favorite thing but he needed one. He was getting to be pretty smelly. When Django was a puppy, I used to just wash him in our like bathroom shower, but since he is just a massive German Shepherd now, it's so much easier just to wash him outside. So I usually just use the hose. It's so much faster this way. Drying off is his favorite part, so I usually have to use about three or four towels to get him really dry, and with each towel I bring out, I think he gets even more excited, but I usually just try to get him as dry as I can with the towels first, and then I actually have a specialized like dog blower tool to get him the rest of the way. Otherwise, I've found that he just smells like a wet dog, even though he's had a fresh clean bath. So here I am with basically his extra large hair dryer. It blows out all of his undercoat too. So I think he loves this because it's more of a relief for him because he's not as itchy afterwards. It's also a relief for me because I don't have to run the vacuum as often. Now that Django is all clean, I feel really good about moving on to our floors and our couches. We have dark brown couches, which hide a lot of stains, but you can still see them here. 
Most of them are from the unavoidable spills from our kids and messes from our dog, Django. I am so excited though to share this new Bizzle Little Green Pet Pro with you guys. I'll be deep cleaning so many different areas of our home with this tiny but mighty machine today. The Bizzle Little Green Pet Pro has the strongest suction compared to any other product I have ever used. I am able to get a like professional grade cleaning result at home on our carpet and our upholstery without having to go out and get a rental or anything like that. The tank is extra large, so I was also able to deep clean our couches and other areas around our home before having to refill that tank. I also love how easy it is to pick up and bring around our home to quickly clean up any messes our dog or our kids make. Many of you know we just potty trained our two and a half year old son, so this made for cleaning up all of his accidents so easy. Once I started, I just couldn't stop. I was only gonna spot clean this couch at first, but the cleaning power on this was just so satisfying. It also felt so good to see the dirty tank after. So as soon as I'm done washing these couches, I'll share that with you guys. It made me feel disgusting because I did not realize how dirty our couches were, but it was also so satisfying knowing that all that dirt and gunk is out of our couch now. Part of the reason I wanted to give Django a bath before getting to our couch was because he loves running up and down the side of our couch to, I don't know, like scratch his back or something. So he gets the side of our couch completely filthy. So it felt really good to clean all of that dirt and dander off. If you are cleaning along with me today, let me know what is on your to-do list. If you write it down, you are so much more likely to complete your tasks. So let me know in the comments. So now that I'm done with our couch, I'm going to empty the canister, which is completely filthy. This was just from our couches. I'm definitely going to be using this machine a lot more often on these couches because this is just disgusting. Like this is what we've been sitting in on our couch. We've had it for a long time. I've cleaned it a few times, but this just did such a good job of sucking out all of that dirt. I can't wait to move on to our kitchen because it desperately needs me in there and I have so many tips on like deep cleaning around there that I want to share with you guys. But before I get started in there, I really wanted to use our Bizzle carpet cleaner that I've had for several years now and deep clean our carpet. I have not found any way around it. Django uses the bathroom out in our backyard, which gets pretty muddy because it rains a lot here in Florida and it's just inevitable. I've put down mats and everything to try and just decrease the amount of dirt that he tracks in, but it just, it happens. I'm sure a lot of this dirt is from us as well, especially our kiddos, but it's just satisfying to get all of the dirt out of our carpet. It also just helps our house smell so much better.
I am super happy with how clean our living room is now. And now I can put my focus on our messy kitchen. So I'm gonna start by tidying in here before I move on to all that deep cleaning, just as I usually do. I know this can vary from home to home on how you do chores with your kids, but we actually decided to do more of a chore chart for Cece so that she can learn how to handle like money and everything. So we put together a little um, like store for her. So I just have like little things like Play-Doh and stickers and just a couple toys that she really wants so that she can actually get like little toy play money for doing her chores. And then she can save up that money so she's learning how to save or not save because she's using the money to buy the smaller things first before saving up to get the bigger items. Um, anyway, I feel like it's a really good way for her to learn how to handle money without it actually being money and she's like working on her chores and learning how to help and clean up around the house. Now that I have all the clean dishes put away, I am loading the dishwasher up with a really full load of dishes and then I'll be running it again. I really needed to wash all of our turvises so I have them all lined up right here ready to go into the dishwasher or be hand washed. But as sure as day turns into night, you can find me right here <laughs> filling up our dishwasher every single day. When it comes to our dinner dishes though, my husband and I usually tag team the kitchen. So I will make dinner, he'll get home from work, we'll eat, and then typically he will load back up the dishwasher. But Cece and Owen are just two and four, so I don't expect them to load or unload the uh, like dishwasher right now. Cece has been like taking all the dishes like off of the table when we're done eating and putting them in the sink, which has been super helpful. I definitely think it is a priority to work together as a family to keep your house clean. And here is your friendly reminder to just wash out your dishwasher filter. Mine is actually better, I guess, than I thought it was gonna be because it had been a while. But when I wash it off, I just spray off all that gunk with just some water and it usually grosses me out a little bit, so I always wear gloves. So our filter is clean and ready to go, so I'm popping it back in there before running a full load of dishes. I just had some dishes that I needed to hand wash, so I'm just laying out a towel for them to dry on. I also like to clean my gloves as if I'm washing my hands before I hand wash dishes, because I just use these gloves to load up all the dirty dishes and clean out that dishwasher filter. So I like having clean gloves, clean hands, basically to wash, hand wash our dishes.
I love using my reusable straws for my water bottles. I don't use it for anything other than water just because I want to keep the inside of it as clean as possible. But I will use my straw cleaning brush, which I sterilize like every single time with like boiling hot water and then use the hottest sink water possible to clean out the inside. I'm going to show you guys how I refill my dish washing spray. This is not the power wash, but I fill it the majority of the way with water, a dash of rubbing alcohol, and then about a quarter cup of dish soap. And this works just as well as the Dawn power wash spray, but it's the fraction of cost and I'm reusing the bottle every single time. I have a little soap tray that I leave here next to our sink. It catches a lot of grime, so I'm just taking the time to wash all of it off. It's always so refreshing. I wanted to wipe down the rest of our counters, but first I'm just hand drying the rest of my hand washed dishes here and putting them away. I've had this orchid here since Mother's Day, so it finally lost its last flower. So I just cut off that stem and put it closer to the window so it can get a little bit more light. But orchids are my favorite flower and they come back again every single year. I had cooked up something super greasy. So there were grease splatter marks all over the top of our like stove here and even on the backsplash. So I am just using my Dawn power wash spray that I had refilled with my DIY one. So if you missed that, that's just a little bit further back. But anyway, I'm just wiping it down with a wet rag first to try and get off all of that grease and just get everything nice and clean again. some caked on areas on our glass top so I'm actually just using a razor to scrape all of those caked on burnt on areas off.
Sinks are one of the number one dirtiest, germiest areas in our kitchen. I think the other like top category for germiest area is actually the handle on your refrigerator. That is like one of the most touched areas in your kitchen. Yet I know a lot of us don't clean it nearly as much as we should. So it's better to know and then you can probably clean it a little bit more often than you usually do. So I'm doing a really good deep scrub of our sink here. I'm getting off all those caked on areas. I can kind of feel the resistance with my sponge and then I scrub that area a little bit more. But I'm gonna show you guys how I like to deep clean the disposal after I rinse all of this off. So I have my cup of ice that I'm going to pour down our garbage disposal. Get that ice nice and down in there. And then I have some baking soda. So I just pour the baking soda down and usually I'd probably use a little bit more than that, but that box is completely empty. So I used what I could. And then I just pour some vinegar over it. I like to have it sit for about at least like five minutes or so because that vinegar is really gonna help get rid of any of the smells that are down in there. And then while there's still ice, I run the garbage disposal and you can't really see it. There might be a little fleck of ice that comes up there, but um, that ice is really gonna get all those blades nice and clean. And then to top off the deep cleaning of our sink, I'm just using a little bit of essential oil on our drain catcher. I like to use it on the rubber part because I feel like it holds on to the oil and the smell lasts a lot longer. At the beginning of this video, you may have seen my kids playing at the table. They were actually playing with some DIY glue that we have and there were like little specks that were still kind of left on the table and dried here. So. I am really scrubbing off all of those little flakes, but this table gets washed off at least six, seven, sometimes ten times a day because of the different Play-Dohs and meals and snacks that we eat here. I'm surprised the finish on the top isn't completely worn off. Anyway, I'm moving on to Owen's seat and I'm just going to use my vacuum to vacuum up all of these crumbs stuck underneath his booster seat. They love to build up there and I don't love them there. So vacuuming them up and then I'll hit this chair with our new Bizzle Little Green Pet Pro. I am seriously gonna be using this in so many different areas in our home. I am so excited. Got all those crumbs and that mess out from underneath his booster and it's ready for him to just make it dirty again. But that is just life when you have kids and I am so grateful for our kids. I needed to complete an area super quick off my to-do list and that is our dining room here. So I will just be doing a quick tidy up, washing down at the table and then this window gets our dog's nose marks all over it. So I'll be washing that before moving on to our porch in a little bit, which is probably the worst area in our entire home. But it was nice to check off this area super quick to help me stay motivated. At this point, our throw blankets from deep cleaning our living room were ready to go into the dryer. So I'm putting those all in there and then I just really noticed how messy 
our laundry room had gotten in here. And if our laundry room is looking a little bit more cluttered than you have seen in the past, because I recently just went through a whole decluttering series. So if you have not seen that, definitely check it out. It's all on my channel. I went through every single room in our house and decluttered. So super motivating. Anyway, I filmed this before decluttering the laundry room. So if that looks a little bit different and you've been watching my videos and staying on top of them, then you know why now. So I'm pretty sure I had lunch or something in between these drying, but at this point they were ready to come out. So I'm going to fold them, put them on our couches, which are basically dry at this point, And they look so clean. They also feel incredibly clean. After this, I just have a couple things I wanted to finish in the laundry room before moving on to our back porch. So I decided to wash the rug that we have in our laundry room. Our garage connects to this room, so you have to walk through it to get to our house, like from the garage. Anyway, we track in a lot of dirt onto this rug, so it's always nice throwing it through the wash so that it's nice and clean, and I'm just vacuuming up all of the dirt and dog hair that fell off of that rug. So our kitchen looks gorgeous, our living room is super deep cleaned, and now I'm going to move on to this back porch, and if you are a fan of Hocus Pocus, you will be familiar with this quote, but my children have been running a monk on our back porch. I've been letting them use chalk because it keeps them so entertained just drawing with chalk here on our back porch. I even have the rug rolled up so that they had more room to draw, but this just helps keep them entertained for such a long time that the mess is actually worth it. And typically I have them help me pick it up, but sometimes it's not worth the battle. Plus I am filming and I don't typically like to include them in my videos as much as possible, but anyway, our back porch was ready for a really good deep cleaning refresh. It was getting pretty rough out here. I have not actually been spending that much time on our porch because here in Florida, the feel like temp has been 106 plus humidity is awful. So I have only been spending like seconds out on the back porch to let our dog out and then I run right back in. My kids don't seem to mind it nearly as much, but I start sweating as soon as I'm out here. Anyway, it's finally started to get a little cooler, so it was really nice to just get a nice good deep clean out here so that when it starts cooling down, we'll be able to enjoy it.
so I already needed to sweep out here and the only way to get the chalk off is to wash it off so I ended up just using our hose to basically sweep and spray off the chalk at the same time. I've used a pressure washer to clean this rug in the past, but I've actually found that it's so much easier to use our carpet cleaner. So this is an outdoor rug, but I'm still using our carpet cleaner to clean it. It gets out all of the dirt. Our dog walks back and forth on this and tracks mud in from outside, and the carpet cleaner gets all of that right up. Does anybody else find the dirty canister so satisfying? Like I was able to get all of that dirt up and just feed it to the bushes. I always clean out our carpet cleaner and everything right after I'm done using it. That way it doesn't get all gunked up or anything. So I take all the pieces apart and use our hose to wash it all off. This machine does so much for me and I love it that I, I want it to last as long as possible. So I always make sure to clean it as well as I can. I always find the best way for it to air dry is actually just right here on our porch too. So I have all the pieces just drying out. Our glass windows. So I'm just using a little bit of soap and water to wash it down with a rug. And then I will be using a squeegee to squeegee it all off. <laughs> it makes it so much easier to clean our windows. I've been letting my kids use dry erase markers on our windows. It keeps them super entertained. Plus, I've just given up on keeping these windows completely clean. There's always like dog nose marks on it and kid handprints. And if I wanted it to be clean, I'd have to literally wash it every single day. So I've basically given up and I just, I let it be what it is. And I let them go at it with dry erase markers and whatever. They're having so much fun and I know this is only a stage. It's not going to last forever. I have finished cleaning our windows. They're sparkly and clear, only for a few minutes until my kids come out here. <laughs> but I'm gonna move everything back where it belongs on our porch. And then I'm actually gonna deep clean the cushions on here. 
I have never cleaned these cushions. I've tried putting them in our washing machine, but they don't fit. So I've always had issues with cleaning these cushions. So I'm going to be using my new Bizzle Little Green Pet Pro to clean them. And I was so excited by how clean they made these cushions. They look brand new and it was so easy. I flip them over and do all the sides because my kids will use these cushions to make little forts on the porch so the cushions get covered in dirt and dog hair, like you name it, whatever's on the porch floor, they get covered in it. Chalk, they've been drawing on them with chalk, so these cushions were very dirty. If you made it this far in today's video, definitely let me know in the comments. Also, before you go, I really hope you hit that thumbs up for me. It really helps my channel, so I appreciate every single one of those. I love that you guys choose to watch my videos and keep coming back. I really cannot describe how grateful I am for each and every one of you. And without further ado, I will see you all right here next week in a brand new video. Bye!